What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today we're back with another YouTube video. Uh, today we're going to be going over generic um, Discord permissions in text channels and voice channels. Um, I made a video like this before, you guys can check it out in the link in the description. But uh, this is going to be more of an in-depth tutorial because I've had some comments in uh, my comment sections on some of my videos asking more questions about this than I should have answered. So this will be uh, kind of like a clone of that video, maybe some new stuff. You know what I mean? So, uh, looking into both of these videos, this one that you're watching right now, and my other permissions one, will give you a really good outlook on just overall Discord permissions. So, now that we're in the video, so we're going to be going over, um, obviously, uh, kind of like the three main categories of permissions. Uh, you're going to want to go over, like, locking people out, so for a select few. A verification category so the only way you can get in is if you have a like pat like a permission aka a role that lets you in and overall just um, permissions that any member can access the category but what can they actually do in there is what we're gonna go over so first one that we're gonna go over is a lockout category that's kind of like a staff category that you only want staff in there um, or you want a category that no one can access so I'll just show you some examples right now. So right now we're going to create a category and we're going to call it staff only. Once you do that, you can either, I want you guys to see this, uh, you see how it says private category? This is where you can do the permissions from in here. Um, really it's your choice if you want to do it through in here. I know in my other video that I did it through in here so you guys can refer to that one. But right now I'm going to do it, um, I call it the more in-depth way because we're actually doing it manually through the bot or the uh, channel settings. So we're going to call this staff and then this staff BC. There we go. All right. So obviously, uh, when someone joins the Discord server, uh, they get the at everyone rule. So you're going to want to make sure that at everyone cannot read messages or send messages. Once you do that, that's all you have to do. That means no one can access it unless they have the administrator permission. So. Who do you want to access the staff? Owner, admin, and mod. Because those are staff, and obviously the owner. So staff and above should be able to access the staff. Once you do that, you're done. So you're gonna exit it, and you're gonna see there's a little lock right there. That little lock means it's locked. The only people that can access it are staff, because that's what we permitted it to. So we're gonna do pretty much the same thing with this. You cannot connect to the voice channel. The only people who can connect is the owner, the admin, and the mod. And I remember uh, we had, or I had a, I had a comment asking something about the visibility of the channel. So I'll be getting into that right now as well. This is kind of like the permission key, the verification of some sort. So I'll give you a really good example. Um, in my Ultimate Gaming Lounge, we have a movies category. So this is for if anyone wants to watch a movie, then they can. But how are they going to watch the movies? They have to go to the ticket booth. So in order to watch the movies, you have to react to the message. Once you react to this message, you're going to get a role called Movie Watcher. So you can do this through Me6, Dino, through CaptchaBot, literally anything. This is just a verification sort of um, procedure. And the way that they do that is you can see in the movie theater, the only people that have permissions are the movie watcher and the movie director. So movie watchers cannot speak because it's a movie, you don't want any talking. So that I can go more in depth of this in a new video on my movies, but it's just a good example of the only way that you can access the movie theater is if you get the movie ticket, which is reacting and getting the role that lets you win, which is movie watcher. So back to the test server. Um, right now, um, we're in the test server, and I'm gonna be going over kind of like what I just showed you right there. So, um, let's do, we're, we'll just do the same thing. We'll call it movies. Whoops. Movies, and then we'll make um, um, movie tickets, and then we'll make a movie theater. All right, there we go. So, uh, in the movie tickets, obviously you're going to want to make it so um, 
they have that same message that I had there where you have to get that roll. And then in movie theater, kind of like when I showed you in staff, you're gonna wanna make it so no, not everyone can access it, but the only people that can access it, imagine the only people that can access it were streamers, you're gonna wanna make it so they can connect. All right, now, that was kind of like, you're probably thinking burrito. We just did the same thing, but for staff. Now this is kind of a different thing. So for a verification type of server, kind of like the one in here, I kind of have everything since this is a test server, we could call this a verification server. So imagine when you're joining a server and in order to access the server, you have to verify. And the way that you verify is you do exclamation point verify. This is just a bot that I have, server capture bot. You can do exclamation point verify, and then you get the role that gives you access to all of the server. So I'm gonna be, imagine that these categories didn't exist, okay? The only category that you had access to when you verified was text channels, all right? So when you go to text channels and you edit the category, you can see that that everyone role cannot read text channels and see voice channels. Meaning, when they first join the Discord server, it looks like this, okay? All you can see is verify, and all you can see is get a role. That's it. But once you do whatever your verification system is, and once you achieve the role noobs, or whatever role gives you permission to see the server, it then looks like this. Now you can see the text channels and everything that it unravels once you verify yourself. So I'm gonna show you how to do that one more time. You're gonna wanna make it so that at everyone role cannot see them, and they cannot text or connect. Once you do that, that means that everyone rule doesn't even know they exist. They can't access them, they can't use them, they can't do anything, they can't even see them. But once they get the noobs rule, they can see it, they can send messages, and they connect inside of it, which means now they have access. All right, and now for the third, uh, the third and final example of permissions is just an overall channel that people can see but they can't do anything with. So a really good example of what you can use this for is uh, I have a 5M server, so this channel, no one can talk in, but they can see it. So that the reason being is that is a voice channel, text channel, you can make it either one. I'll be showing you how to do that. It just gives you information, and it's just a single line of information, and that's all you need. So for example, this is our TeamSpeak server. It's a way of speaking, and that's the code to join it. You don't need anything else. That's all you need. You don't need to figure out what is TeamSpeak, you don't need to talk to anyone. So the way, the easiest way to display that is through a voice channel or text channel. So I'll show you how to do that now. So let's go to the test server. So we're gonna be doing this, since I showed you in a voice channel, we're gonna be doing this in a text channel. So Discord. All right, no, we can do, I actually recommend a voice channel now that I think about it because voice channels let you do spaces Whereas text channels, whenever you do a space, it's like a line. So, all right, now that we have this role or this voice channel, you can see that when I join it, now I'm inside of it and I can join it. When you're the um, owner or you have the administrator permission, even if the channel is locked, like there's zero chance anyone can join, you can still go in it because it bypasses permissions. But we're talking about the select members and just overall ev at everyone in the server so right now we're going to make it so let's see edit channel permissions at everyone cannot connect but they can view it that's it if it were a text channel you're going to want to make sure they can view the text channel but they cannot send or read messages or read message history that makes it so all they can see is the name of the voice channel or the text channel and that's all you need to do. For example, I told them, this is my Discord server. It's called UGL, or Ultimate Gaming Lounge. So those should really just be for one line text of information. And the easiest way to do that is make it so no one can access the channel. They can just read the name of it, which is the information. So I hope this video helped you guys. If it didn't help you guys, I can guarantee that my other video definitely should and will. So I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new. Like the uh, video if you obviously liked it. And this is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge. And I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll see you later.